Did you think about other people when we had sex? No. Hi. Hey. Hello. Who are you two and what are you doing here? I'm Tanaja. And I'm Dominique. And he's my ex. How long ago were you all together? Ooh. 11 years ago. 11 years ago. You have a kid together. Yep. It's been a long 11 year journey. So you date men? Yes. At the beginning, I would follow the Raise the Sun by Tanaja's book of law for like the first two years. Don't have any men around him. Don't do that. Don't do this and the third. So He's like, a whore. When you come out, it's like you're a virgin all over again. <laughs> you want to take a shot to start? Cheers. So you have to look at me in my eyes or you'll have seven years of bad sex. <laughs> I'm not worried about no shit like that. <laughs> 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 Bro, did you ever think you did something wrong and turned me gay? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> but I will say when we broke up, we were engaged. So I was thinking like, what didn't I do well to make him not decide to stay with me? I thought that for maybe a year, I would say. I mean, we're saying all this now, but my coming out story wasn't that great. She sent the text messages out. I sure did. I'm like, sorry, I sent it to who? Everybody. Everybody. And it said this. If you want to know why me and my son are leaving the state, it's because my fiance cheated on me with the men in my apartments. That's how I came out. I did out him, and that was wrong. I did apologize. I'm right here. <coughs> Ooh. Ooh. Just take a shot. It's a question. It says give me oral sex tips. Pause, because that was 11 years ago, I was a rookie. Don't do me crazy Rook like this. E. <laughs> Listen. Give me some tips. Really. Listen. No. I, no, I gotta give the tips. No, you Here don't want to give me nothing. The head of a penis is like a brain. You can't keep doing the same thing to it over and over. It's gonna get bored or it's not gonna get hard. You have to do new things yeah, like. I know that now. You have to like do okay. like weird things sometimes. <laughs> yeah. And men also like their gooch a. So make sure you get to the spot under the balls. People are dirty, and I have a phobia about it. I really do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> in what way did I hurt you the most? We were only together for like two, two and a half years or something like that. But I was probably hurt the most because we were friends. Yeah. Like I felt like we were friends enough at the time that even if you wanted a baby, like and you met somebody, I would have just had the baby for you. Mm -hmm. Like I felt like it set my life down a different trajectory that I didn't want. We were friends enough for us to have avoided all the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Okay, just pour a drink because I don't want to know this. Did you think about other people when we had sex? I guess I can answer and take a shot just because. No. I you didn't. You didn't think about anybody else because I, I was because I was so cute, right? <laughs> Did you ever suspect I was gay? Do you remember our first interaction in middle school? When you marched up to me in the cafeteria and you were like, "Why are you telling people I'm gay?" <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. Aren't you? That was my response. Listen, and you're like, no. That's, that's not your tea to be spilling. It's not like you already knew. It was not your tea to be spilling. You'll be spilling my tea. It was just interesting that you were saying that you wanted a wife and I a, did. And a son. I did. <laughs> so I was like, that's very interesting because no, he doesn't. Maybe he wants. <laughs> maybe he wants a son. But what? definitely not the wife part. Something you wanted like a family. Yeah. If you suspect that I was gay, why would you want to get with me then, Tanaja? Because you told me you weren't. Mm. So. Did I give you trust issues? Yes. I just wish you would have been truthful about your own truth at your own time and left me out of it. Even after we broke up and you started telling me about all the people that were down low, then I'm side eyeing everybody. Even now, I think you kind of speak in circles. So now I'm hyper vigilant about what people say to me. Cause I'm like, so what does that really mean? That's how you should be. And no, it's exhausting. It's, I know, it, this world is exhausting. This life is exhausting. No, like, I'm a straight shooter. What I said is what I meant. And I feel like with you, you never just say that shit. It'd well, be because like, I don't say that shit because in my head, I just think of this teenage girl like, I hate you, I'm pregnant, ah! <laughs> And then, then my son comes and then she's like, he hates me. I'm like, oh my he God. Like, he like, just started liking me maybe five <laughs> years ago. He did, <laughs> he did just. <laughs> Did you ever really love me? Yes, I did. I still love you, Tanaja. Oh, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Zaire has a great mom, and there's no question about that, period. Hey, how was that for you two? It was fun. It was like therapy. It was spicy. We're promoting this game. 
Okay. Our second edition. Um, okay. Their drink. Would you play this with other friends and family? Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Okay, what's the best compliment you've ever been given? Oh, you guys want to know for real? Okay. Yeah. This man told me I taste like um, Twix. That, first of all, that's a weird He said thing. I taste like a Twix. This is the really catcher. It's my sister's ex-boyfriend. And you know what? He was one of my favorites, so <laughs> I'm not mad at it. 